So we're starting off our morning with one of our favorite, like this is kind of like one of our new favorite cruise items. And this is from the main dining room, but because we're in a Sky Class suite, we get to order room service from the main dining room. And I haven't even looked at this yet, but oh, it looks so good. The eggs Benedict. Wow. With bacon. Gorgeous. And like a hash brown on the side. Yeah. We both got the same thing. Let's see. Whichever one looks oh, better is mine for sure. You can like see through that one more. Wow, look at all the bacon. My mouth is watering. We also got a fruit it plate. It smells good, yeah. That was yeah. at my request. Brian's not healthy. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> Let's dig in. Oh, and you know what I want to do while we eat breakfast? Is I want to watch this, uh, the cruise director give his morning show. Oh, on the already, TV? I already found it, yeah. Okay, I thought you were going to point to something like outside. Oh, no. <laughs> but this is good. Yeah. See, this is the thing we were talking about, like... Royal Caribbean Entertainment. They've got a good lower thirds on this cruise ship. Wow. Oh, I didn't even realize it was March Madness. But see, it's customized for the day. Yeah. It's amazing. They film it every day. People have asked, like, what your job should be on a cruise ship. I feel like I'd love to be part of the team that, like, makes these videos. I could do that. Yeah. Also, they have a cruise compass thing. So that's kind of nice. Yeah, but we're angry about it because it's not paper. This is really, like, it's like you're watching the Today Show or Good Morning America. But for your cruise. Yeah. I love it. I want to download that on my iPod. Breakfast was really good, but let's take a look outside and check out our amazing view of the ocean. This is our first time really seeing the full ocean. Yeah, right seriously. I like seeing the wake. Yeah, the wake down there in between the slide. You can really see a lot from up here. It's sunny and nice. It is. Now it feels like a cruise. And I really like how we have the family suite right next to us. We have this colorful wall. And we wouldn't have that normally because like normally it would look like this. This is a very special crown loft suite. Yeah, it adds a, it's, you know, it's nice to add that color into our- It's a layer of whimsy. Yeah. I think we're gonna start our day with some Starbucks, maybe. Hmm. And, um, maybe some shuffleboard. I think that would be fun. If we can find the court because I don't know where it is exactly. I think it's on like the deck four outside thing, looking I, at the, the deck map. I'm pretty sure it's not where it was on Allure, which was the boardwalk. I know. I, I, I think that too. I don't know why I think that, but I think. I think I saw it on the deck map, okay. but we're going to find it and tell you where yeah. it is. Something I just noticed on the phone here is the concierge logo looks just like the Disney Cruise Line concierge logo. I don't know if that's going to focus. It's two keys converging. But there's also three circles, but the three circles are not really a mouse, but they could be. A mouse, by the way, <laughs> is hanging out right here. That's funny. This reminds me of when um, your brother-in-law like left us little stickers in our room. I don't even know how you spotted that. I don't know either, but it's fun. Anyway, Starbucks. Okay, we're next to the Starbucks here waiting for our drinks. And this um, venue, this is on air has some really interesting facts going by and, and trivia and questions. There's like little tidbits about like, they said that the, the ship has more art than the Louvre has paintings. Yeah. And um, it said that the ultimate abyss was taller than the Buck Buckingham Palace. Um, and yeah, it tells you like how much double occupancy is, how many international crew are on board. 6,680 total guests. So is that the double? Oh. This one's double occupancy. Oh, so the double occupancy is different at 5,518. So that means they have more rooms that can hold more than two people. Yeah, and I think we're at double occupancy right now. Yeah, they said that it's a pretty full ship. Yeah, okay, I got my espresso frappuccino here. What did you get, something stupid? I have a royal English breakfast tea, but I've learned to swap the milk for the vanilla sweet cream, and then I like it, okay? So while we take our first few sips, we're gonna check out some of the shops on the promenade. Okay, here we go, the shop. This is the shop. This is like the shop with all the Royal Caribbean. The only shop you need to go into. Because it's all this stuff with the Symphony of the Seas and Royal Caribbean branded stuff. Wow, and it's crowded. It's very small. You're invited. <laughs> it's so packed in here. 
because this is the one everyone wants to go into. It, oh, those look like the slippers, but I don't think they are the slippers. Oh, they're, it's just like a plush yeah. toy. That's cool. Ooh. This is so soft. That actually looks nice. You should get this, to be honest. It. Feel it. Feel it with your hands. I'll feel it with the camera. Oh, it's very cool. And the blue one. Oh, okay. this one isn't as cool, to be honest. But it's more generic. I like this. I have this one that says Adventure of the Seas. Do you want a Kylie and Kendall smartwatch? Yes. I don't even know what that means. No. Is that the... I feel like this was on Shark Tank or something. Oh, yeah. You, it's a, a holder for your drink on your, like beach chair but is it only it can only be if it's in a glass like you can't put your starbucks in. no it probably can these are kind of nice i kind of want that too yeah i like i like hoodless hoodies what are they called crew crew neck sweatshirts yeah <laughs> and there's all these different colors it doesn't say symphony though no and i can't really look through it with my starbucks yeah just pour it on the merchandise you are amazing everyone wow towel clips they have them here in case you oh, forgot them oh or in case you want your curtain to be shut more you can bring these up <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. we didn't need to though on in our room no this we is an exclusive exclusive. exclusive if it's exclusive i kind of need it well look at this pull it back and watch it go real horn sound wow and lights do i need that i take a bath like every night fake legos that's cool though and our second port on this cruise is cozumel and they have cozumel magnets here and just in case your cruise ship doesn't come with oh good God. straws they've learned that we hate the, the paper straws that's what's in the back that's crazy i, I wonder if that. they're like branded as royal caribbean on the straws how's your drink i had my first sip and i was worried because i couldn't use the app to tell them exactly what i want i just had to vocalize it but they got it perfect it tastes like a birthday cake with that vanilla creamer and it's so good and now we're giving reviews of starbucks drink <laughs> but it's so tasty we should play shuffleboard wait i want to look at the gus over here mm. they have gus plushes towel animals stuffed animals i don't even see like brian was saying like oh these are the ones that hold your i think they can i think they can hold a picture oh, I frame see, there's like a little um what is velcro. velcro yeah yeah those are cool though even yeah the disney cruise line just started selling those too over at the next cruise shop thing they have a icon of the seas gift basket where if you book icon on this ship you get a little gift basket with a bunch of icon stuff like this is like a i want this fake turvis with icon on yeah. it and then there's like a bag it's hard to see but yeah there's a bunch of icon stuff in there we saw this on tv because yeah, the cruise the director show. was showing it off on the little today show thing yeah and now we want it but we've already booked our icon thing so should we cancel it and then rebook it no <laughs> oh oh my god we found it you have to get by the running track on deck five this is cool. There's like a little solarium. It's like a huge open space. That's This is really neat. This is amazing. Wow. It, do you think this is regulation size? I don't know. It's definitely a bigger triangle, but I feel like it's maybe not as long as yeah. it should be. But there's plenty of room for it to be that long. We're on a lure, it was like crammed in behind the aqua theater. So now that we've been on a lot of cruises, we're experts at shuffleboard and we actually know how to play now, whereas the first few times we didn't know how to play. But Lindsay M left us a comment saying, can you explain how to play shuffleboard, explain the rules so that people that are new to cruising know how to play. And I think that's so important and that's such a great comment. Great idea. Absolutely, we're gonna do that. And we're gonna do that right now. Actually, like right next to the court is the rules. Yeah, so really, if you forget what we tell you, these are always posted everywhere. There's a really terrible glare. So the rules are always posted here. If you want, you can pause. But again, on your cruise, these rules are going to be posted. So if you forget, they're going to be there. So I think what we're going to do is like, we'll just like play it. And as we play around, we'll explain. We'll try to explain. Um, now, something that I didn't know for a while is, um, so the shuffleboard puck, is that what it's called, the puck? Sure, hockey um, puck looks it looks like this right yeah sometimes they don't tell you which side is the top like this one says top oh that's so nice the one where it, it's like the dip the dip is on top because yeah. like this is what the it's bottom completely looks like. flat on the bottom because sometimes it doesn't tell you and you go like which side is up yeah that's a very important so i guess it's, it should look like a plate yes or a bowl or something and then they all of the colors start on one side at the beginning so everybody is over here um yeah, let's get to it. Carrie's gonna go first, so we... We take turns, we alternate. Turns. So you alternate, so Carrie will go, then I'll go. Carrie's red. That's 
pretty good. Don't go in the off yeah, section though, because that's negative 10. Okay, I'm gonna do this left-handed, okay, because I'm holding the camera. Now, okay, let me just say that this- Don't do that either. This court is not regulation size. I feel like Carrie has a regulation size court at her house, her parents' house. They have their, Carrie's parents have, yeah, she, okay, Carrie just got a seven, it's very good. But no, what's amazing to me that Carrie's parents have their own shuffleboard court at their house. Regulation. Regulation size, I love that. We, but it's brand new, so Brian and I have played on it equally, so it's not like I have any sort of advantage. Oh, that's, yeah, yeah, home court advantage. Yeah, I don't have that. Yeah, but I will say, even though this one, this court is slightly um, shorter than normal, the surface is very good. Sometimes you go onto a ship and the surface, like, isn't really conducive to shuffle. It's gotta be, you know, well oiled. Yeah. That's a joke. <laughs> but this does feel like a well oiled, oiled, oiled court. Oh, oh very I good. shouldn't have done that. Well, it's still good. Yeah. And now, you know, I am playing left-handed, so, you know, give me an excuse for that. Oh, I got seven, okay. So, is, we should say, is there a point where you cannot cross? Because that's kind of an important rule. Oh, like if we were like, stepping. I'm not gonna like step like all the way over here and then go, okay, let me shoot from here. Okay, we're kind of stupid. Rule number three, pucks may be shot from anywhere behind the first white line. Wow, so I could literally, I could be like right uh, here. I don't know. This is the white line. This is the line. Oh, the first white line. I was taking this as the first one. No. <laughs> but okay, I, I, I see. Okay, this is my, my last um, shot for this round. Okay, not very good. So here's the most hard part about scoring. Ooh, okay. So here's the thing right here. This is inside of this yellow box, but had this been right here. Then it doesn't count. It doesn't count because it's touching the white. It has line. to be fully inside like it was. It was kind of like this. Yeah, yeah. It was as close as it can get. Yes. But so I technically have 10 off yeah. because this is inside this line. It's, this is negative 10 points. But also that thing said that you can't score below zero, so. Oh, okay. So if we're counting up the points for this round, I have seven. I Carrie have has seven. Minus 10. Minus 10, so she has nothing, and I have seven points for this round. So Brian is winning, and we all know that that's not good. And we all remember the time when Carrie got her puck in this, and I said, oh, negative 10, and then she went, no, it's just off. It does, it's not negative 10. If it was negative 10, it would say negative 10. I've learned. She scammed me. I've learned to be wiser. I've learned to read the sign. Um, so be better than me, everyone. The rules say that we have to do this six times. So we do it six rounds. Wow. But I say, you know, it's your cruise. Do whatever you want. Do it until you get bored. Yeah. And Or come up with a number that you want to play to. Or you could follow the rules and do six rounds. Yeah. Okay, see, I, see, this is a well-oiled court. I'm, and also, I'm used to the longer ones as well. So. Yeah. See, that's good, but it's bad because it's touching the white line. Yeah, let me, let me show, let me demonstrate this. See, this one, it's not actually, it's hitting the white line, so that doesn't count. But I might hit it, or you might hit it, and knock it into the... That's why you have to go every other, so that, yeah. you know, Brian can hit me in. Here, let me, let me try to hit it right now, just for funsies. Oh, I totally missed. <laughs> but you adjust your strategy based on what your opponent is yeah. doing. Okay, that was not good. Okay, so, okay, so now... The score is equal. The score is equal now because these ones don't count. That counts seven. So it's seven, seven right now. Yeah, are we over explaining this? <laughs> Probably. I don't think that this is an actual um, rule that's posted, but just something that we have always done, like at Carrie's house. So. Whoever wins the last round, so like Carrie- With the most points. Like seven, Carrie got seven points and I got nothing. So that means that, who goes first? I go first. That means that, okay, because that's a disadvantage for you. The person that got the most points goes first because they're already, they're like ahead. Yeah, so like they get the disadvantage of going first. Because if you go last, you can really change your Change strategy. it all up. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna just demonstrate something else that the rules say that we've never actually done is if it, 
lands in here, the middle section, it actually says to remove it. Really? Yeah, which we've never done. No, because it's like in the way. But I don't think you get to reshoot it. You just That's it. funny. I would have thought that that was like a defensive strategy. I would think that too. Yeah. Okay, let's get really technical here because no one's more athletic than me. And I should really show you the form that you want to be in when oh, you're right, really right. throwing it. In your, in your sandals. In my sandals. Definitely wear sandals when you're doing this. Make sure, you know, whichever hand you are dominant in is the one that you should be using. <laughs> <laughs> I would have never guessed that. Don't be like Brian and use your left hand if you're right-handed. And then you always want to use your opposite foot. Okay. Step onto so that you're really lunging into it, okay? Okay. Ready? Yep. Oh, not bad. You got it into eight. You know why? I had good form. <laughs> I always say take a sip of your tea in between That's shots. what really helps. So we're gonna finish up our game. Thank you, Lindsay, for commenting this. This is a great idea for us to show how it's played. We had a lot of fun. Yeah, and um, but we're gonna finish this game and then I think we're gonna face my parents. Now that we're warmed up and we know the court. Yeah, we won't tell them that we're warmed up. No. <laughs> we'll be like, oh, look, here's the shuffleboard court. I guess we're so good at this. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna face them. I think we'll win. Easy. Okay, we're playing with my parents. Current score is, uh, what is it? We have we have 23 points as a team. Carrie and I on a team, 23 points. Sounds good, but... But... but <laughs> Brian's parents, what do you guys have, 37? 37. But this is the last round. We have, this is our last chance to come back. I'm not gonna get you on It'll camera. be like Charlie Brown, Just, like yeah. the <laughs> adults are never shown. <laughs> I think technically we can still win. Oh, close. Should I go? No, you're the closer. Okay, okay. <laughs> we need seven to tie, eight to win. Okay. And by the way, we didn't tell you guys, but we practiced ahead of time. What? We practiced before we played. <laughs> we came down here. <laughs> you did? Yeah. That's why he knew where it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, and we're also playing for two red chips in the casino. So that's, so that's $10, $10, five each. Five each. Miss it. Oh, we tied. We tied. It does not say anything about tying. So I guess You know, if you're making a bet, then you got to settle the bet. But if you want to just call it a tie, you can call it a tie. Yeah. But because we have a bet, we have to We have to play. Yeah. Okay, off to a good start. <laughs> oh, okay. So that one's on the line. We win. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I can't believe that that's good. <laughs> good game. Good game. <laughs> we found hooked seafood. We've never been to a, we've never been on a ship that has hooked before. We're going here tonight. This is really cool. It's gorgeous how they have like all these little octopuses and fish. Um, I don't eat seafood. So what's nice is that I can ask about their turf and turf option. Okay, but also I read that you can get, um, there's like a messy sandwich or something like that. Messy fish sandwich. Yes. Do you think you can make it chicken? It said that on the menu. Oh, that's really cool because I would really like that. Mm -hmm. I will ask about that. But what I'm really excited about, decadent chocolate brownie. Yeah. That's why that. we're here, okay? I like how it's a whiteboard. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, it's a screen, but it looks like a whiteboard. Love that. I, it gives me Charleston vibes. The whole restaurant, Boarding, like the I mean, theming. I meant to say chalkboard. Yeah, did you say whiteboard? I did yeah. that to you this morning. Oh my God, I just found a duck. What? Where? I found a duck in the seafood restaurant. <gasps> wow. Can you, I have, I'm holding my can Starbucks. You can you? Yeah. Can you? <laughs> I know that this was your find though, okay? Oh. Oh. Wow, the Miller, Cincinnati, Ohio. Congratulations, you found me. Keeper Hyde, you decide. March 4th through 9th, that's the sailing. Look, it's like, um. Is it the Saint shape of Ohio? But look at, oh yeah. But look at the duck, it's a St. Patrick's Day duck. Oh, that's so fun. Cause it's March right now. When is St. Patrick's Day? Should we post a photo? It says post a photo to the Cruising Ducks Facebook page. Will you take a picture of me? Okay. Or do you want your picture? Climb up the ladder, cause that's what the duck did. We're gonna hide the duck. Re we're re-hiding the duck in the arcade next to the duck machine. 
It's perfect. We stole this idea from someone else. We found a duck one time on top of the machine, so. Yeah. This ship actually has two duck machines. It's crazy. Those look like different animals. Oh, wait a second. Those are turtles. This isn't a duck. Those, those, these are turtles. Do I need to get a turtle? Okay, the ones on the bottom are ducks. Oh my god, you're right. Turtles. Wow, they are turtles. That's crazy. That's, I'm gonna that, get a turtle. That's gonna be the new trend. I'm getting a turtle right now. <laughs> the, the new trend in cruising is gonna be hiding turtles, not ducks. Two dollars for this. Wow. Get it, get it, get it. He's not gonna get it. It lets you. Okay. Okay, good. It felt bad for you. It's probably you probably get to play until you win. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes. It sounds like an alien abduction when it's like sucking it. I in. really enjoy the Six Flags music. Oh my god. <laughs> Look how cute. It's ugly. It's like a cheetah turtle. It's weird. Right near the arcade and near the pool deck, they have these vending machines. This is so cool. It's like everything you might have forgotten. Yeah. Like toothbrush, toothbrush, toothpaste, everything dental, deodorant. Oh, very hard to see, but. Um, there's like allergy medication, pain medication, razor blades for like shaving your legs or your face. And then like sunscreen in here. The sunscreen is cool. I kind of like, there's a couple that I'm like, oh, that's a nice brand I haven't seen before. Like, look at this Ultra Defense. I want that. That's pretty cool. But I don't think we've seen this or like we haven't seen an open ever. We haven't seen an open and I like it better than having to like go down to the shop. Yeah. What if I need like tampons and then- Oh my like, God. That feels awkward. This doesn't feel awkward. Or if you feel awkward buying your um, football yeah. trading cards on board. I, I don't know why they sell that. I did forget those, so I'm glad that- Who's gonna be it? buying yeah. football trading cards? I don't know. And why aren't they Pokemon cards? Oh my god, wait, they do have one Pokemon card. Do they actually? There. Shut up. Do it's we get it? Can we get it? Can we get it? Yeah, Can we get let's it? get it. Can we get it? I like how we were like, why would they have this? And then there's Pokemon okay. and we're like, we gotta get it. It's so hard to see because of the glare. Holy sh Nikes. Do we pay that much money no. for that? No way. How is it $28? Okay, so maybe there's a bit of an upcharge with these machines. That should be like $4. Let's play the prices right. Like how much would you pay for a, one of these objects and then let's see how much it actually Let's costs. do a, the sunscreen. How much would you pay for that? Probably like 10 bucks. Let's do the orange one because I can actually see that one. I can see it in the camera. Okay, how much? I would pay $10 for it. Okay, it's double the price. Oh my god, really? Yes. I'm actually surprised they put that much of an upcharge on it. Yeah, I'm thinking that things are a little bit more expensive here. So just try to bring your stuff yeah. so you don't have to pay more. But if you forget, it is here, but it's a little costly. I mean, not everything is that bad. Like ear, <laughs> like earplugs are $3, that's yeah, not that's bad. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think we need this tattoo. <laughs> It's little fish. That's so weird. Oh, is that it right there? Yeah, those ink box. That is so weird. Okay, so we've been hanging out with my parents in the casino. We got our winnings. We got our two red chips for winning shuffleboard. And then um, we had lunch. We had a kind of like a mini lunch, a snack at Sorrento. It's just like a little Sorrento snacky. I got barbecue chicken pizza, which was actually really good. I had it for the first time today, and you know what? It was quite delightful. Yeah. It was like the Sorrento's today was better than usual, I would say. The cheese pizza was so fresh, and the crust was so crispy, and it was just like, mm, so good. Hit the spot. But now we're going to go up one deck to the boardwalk and check out the Sprinkles ice cream shop and candy shop. Are you sure it's called Sprinkles? Or, no, I'm not sure. I think it's called like Sweet Treats or... I have no idea what it's called. We're going to find out what it's called, but we're going to get ice cream. Yeah. I don't know why I thought it was called Sprinkles. It's called Sugar Beach. I think on Allure it was called Sprinkles. I think I'm just thinking of like Disney Springs, I guess. Oh, that's true too. Let's pick out our flavor. Quadruple chocolate ice. Oh my god. I, so I was like, oh, I'll get the triple chocolate, but then. Just kidding, quadruple there's quadruple. Quadruple chocolate? Are you kidding me? Well, I'm gonna get that, I guess. Oh, they also have coffee ice cream, which I usually like. Tiramisu. Wow, tiramisu. The vanilla is even like, it's Tahitian. Wow. It came from Tahiti. Oh my god. They have a $30 gummy bear. I think I might need it. No, it's five know, pounds. The thing is, I heard that those suck. Like, they don't taste good. Yeah. I want it, but... It's the Gummy Bear Reimagined. Five pounds. That's insane. Wow. 
It's so crazy. Look at the Rice Krispie Treat. A $20 Rice Krispie Treat. They have giant everything. Giant gummy worm, giant Hershey bar for $60. You can get the chocolate blackout, quadruple chocolate ice cream topped with brownies, chocolate drops, chocolate pearls, whipped cream, and drizzled with Nutella. Wow. That last part Brian can't get. And so the ice cream is um, an extra fee, but I think it's probably worth it. Yeah. I got my sugar beach ice cream. I got the quadruple chocolate. I went one down, got the triple chocolate. I yeah. think the difference is his has like fudge mixed in. By the looks of it, you really can't even tell the difference. You really can't. But yeah, I think, yeah, the fudge... This seems a little like drippier, a little fudgier. Yeah, right. yeah. But we need to see which one's better, triple or quadruple. I've only had a bite of mine, so... Yeah, you should try a bite of mine. It's pretty good. <laughs> I think I like the consistency, like, because yeah, yours is yours. slightly more melted, yeah. I actually like yours better. Want to trade? I think we should. Taylor Swift. Oh, uh, yeah, anything from Taylor. Uh, that's all you can say. That was awesome. Thank you so much. It's so fun. Thank you. Thank you very much. Come back again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. That was say that I the first time we got on I was like are we able to get on this elevator <laughs> as oh my gosh she just pulled that piano into the elevator and I asked if she knew how to do the office theme song she didn't know it I feel like that was such a that's that's too much of a request you have to do songs not like a theme show yeah at least she knew Taylor though yeah but Sugar Beach was cool, and that's something that we've always wanted. Like, remember you were talking, you wanted a shop just like that? I honestly, I want to go back and get like jelly beans and stuff. Like, yeah. I, that's what I want. But yeah, we're back in our room now. I have to take have to the shower. world's quickest shower. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, Special delivery. Special, Special delivery. delivery. To carry more from Crown and Anchor. Enjoy your cruise. Why is it just to me? That's not fair. Maybe one is for me, one's for you. Ooh. Wow. But yeah, you have to take the world's quickest shower because we have, we have friends, friends trivia. Friends trivia. So you're going to get halfway ready now by showering and then you're going to do your like My makeup and my hair will come after friends trivia and then yeah. we're going to hooked. Here's where we are. We're very close to Cuba. I think they like sailing close to Cuba because it's just like the shortest distance, so it's like, well, why go all the way up there and then down? But yeah, we're on our way to Costa Maya. Gonna be there tomorrow, first thing in the morning. So while Carrie gets ready, I'm gonna enjoy laying out here with the amazing sights and this amazing soft chair. I can't get over the view from our balcony here. Ah, oh, it's so amazing. I love it. But I'm gonna enjoy this for 30 minutes while she showers. It's gonna be a good time. Might fall asleep, I don't know. Wet hair. Wet hair, no makeup, wet, but. Wet hair, don't care. That's what I always Isn't say. That's what they say? Yeah. Now okay. we're gonna go rock this Friends trivia. What's really nice is Brian doesn't know Friends the way no. I do. No, no, no. But, but Brian's mom knows Friends the way that I do. So we're really gonna team up and form like the dream team. Yep. I'm gonna be like the Joey in this situation. <laughs> That's a good reference to. I'm gonna be the Kramer. I'm kidding. Huh. I'm gonna be the Chandler. The joke man. All I know from friends is basically their character names. Okay, what are all three girls' names? I hope that's one of the questions, because then <laughs> I might be able to get that one. The thing is, the thing, I, I struggle because I enjoy the show. I've seen every episode at least 10 times, and that's not a joke. But I still don't know, like, the small details. If yeah. they're like, what date is Rachel's birthday? Okay, that's one of them, Rachel. I don't freaking know. I don't know. All right? By the way, these hallways are so, like... In, why? in the loft area, the hallways are so wide and nice. Oh, I, I forgot to say, um, we went to the, the, um, the suite lounge, or like AKA the concierge. They were lounge. so nice. Okay, but we walked in this morning because I just had a quick question. And hey, Mr. Brian. The lady goes, oh, hey, Brian, and it's like. And then she even mentioned like, oh, I got you the show. Yeah. And I was like, what? Like How she knew our names. Like. She was so I impressive. Mean, I literally, I got 
I got their name tags. What's it? What's it called? I got their oh, or their business, their business card. cards because I was like, I need to write a review for these people because yeah. they were that good. I mean, but like our photos are on our account. Like when you scan your CPAS card, they can see your photo. Yeah. But still, but, but like, still it's but so she, impressive. Like she knew it without even like. And she even it up. knew like what we wanted to do. Okay, so next to the two works of art, the Starbucks and the green um, alien thing, is on air, which I think they do karaoke here a lot. This is where they have the fun facts, and this is where they're gonna have the Friends trivia. Oh, it's busy. How many seasons of Friends are there? Is this right? Yes. Do you want a clue? Yeah. It's a number. <laughs> <laughs> so we ended up with 20 points. Ryan's mom is a fierce competitor. She helped me get, um, let's see, I would have said dentist instead of orthodontist. She got Richard's daughter's name, Michelle. And then this one was which um, of the royal family's children were in this, and she got that. I definitely would not have gotten that. So I was purely a spectator in this, and I witnessed some really good answering. Yes. Um, the winner got 23 points and my mom and Carrie got 20 points, but I think that's really good. I'd like to go over what we got uh, wrong. I didn't know anything, first of all, but honestly, they did a really great job. So, number five, the question was, uh, what company did Rachel get a job offer for in the very last episode? I have no idea. The answer was Louis Vuitton. We said Ralph Lauren. I'm pretty sure that's the one she got fired from at the end. But we did pretty good. But yeah, not enough to win a highlighter. Which was Someday surprise. we'll get one of those highlighters. Yeah. Okay, we're all dressed, ready for our hooked seafood dinner tonight. I'm so excited for this, something brand new on Royal Caribbean. As we walk over, um, I noticed something and I have, uh, I'm gonna drop some knowledge. Okay. As he always does. So I've always wondered, what is this thing on the top deck? Because it's, it's a not, weird looking thing. It's not a satellite. You know, it's not a satellite dish. No. I've always wondered what this thing was, right? Yeah. And when I was younger on Oasis in 2009 or whatever, I look at that thing and I'm like, okay, maybe it's like some sort of weapon Ow. or like a gun. Oh my God. Because, I mean, there's pirates obviously okay. that are terrorizing the oceans even in our modern day. But um, it's not. What it actually is, is it's a crane for trees. Obviously there's Central Park here, right? And it's live trees inside of Central Park. So they have this crane that extends 89 feet off the side of the ship, right? And can pull up a tree or any other type of plant or whatever, and then swing it all the way around into Central Park here. That's insane. Or on this side too, let's look at this side. And over here. So the crane is right here. So obviously like trees or whatever might die, you know. They need to replant after, that. After the ship has been sailing for 10 years or so, they need new trees or whatever. So that's what that thing is. It's a crane, it, like it extends. Oh, I have a photo too, I can show you. <laughs> We're officially late for dinner. We're a little late for dinner, but facts are more important. Does this show up? Oh my gosh. Does that show up on the screen? I, I think so. You might want to just put it on the screen, but. But see, that's the crane extended. That's crazy. So is all of that extension just like it's already in the ship? Yeah, it, it just it well it just folds up. It's like one of those. It's um, a special antenna. crane here. I have the name of it right here because I was looking at it. Oh my gosh. It's a it's a pal finger crane. Because it looks like a finger. Okay. I guess so. It's a marine crane used for transporting and planting trees on board the ship. I cannot believe that. What would you have guessed it was? Not that. What would you have like thought like a satellite or something or like. Um, it almost looks like a laser. I don't know yeah. what I would think that the laser would be a, for. Like, I thought it was a weapon or something, but no. Maybe like for like planetary or like for like navigational reasons. Because I mean, there's 6,000 people on board. Like, wouldn't you, you gotta think stay like, safe. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. The giant sword. Okay, we are late. But, oh wow, this is a cool, oh wait, this is a cool view into the water slide. If someone goes down in there, they have like a little window. I really like that. We're almost at home. I wish some of these chairs were in here. Okay, mom and dad, I'm sorry we're, we're five minutes late, but I just wanted to show another shot of the crane. So if you look, see doesn't it look like it's like it's a laser pointing up at the sky? It does look like a laser, like a telescope almost. A telescope. That's what I meant when I said like planetary. Yeah, but no, it's it's that pal finger crane. This thing is literally shooting water out of like a pool noodle. 
Oh my god, it is, yeah. Okay, so... We gotta go to Hook. I know. We're five, mi we're five minutes late. It's five minutes isn't too bad. I'm gonna ask my parents a dinner time question and say, what do you think that thing is? But do you have a picture of it so that yeah. you can... Okay. Okay, let's just take a second to appreciate this great logo. I second that. Very nicely decorated in here with a story about the greasy pole. I'm not gonna read the whole thing because we don't have time. The greasy pole is a unique contest that takes place every year during the St. Pete... St. Peter's Fiesta in Massachusetts. That's kind of crazy. This restaurant has like a little backstory thing. I imagine this is also what like the mason jar looks like on The Wonder. We obviously oh. have not been, but it gives me the same sort of vibes. Yeah. And then a bunch of seafood here. Oh, oysters. And this is like above the Solarium Bistro, I guess. It's hard to see, but out there is the sunset. A lot of glass in here. It looks very nice in here. It's gorgeous. And it yeah. overlooks the Solarium Bistro. Yeah, it overlooks the Solarium Bistro. So I, on a lore, I have no idea what this space is because I can't even picture what this is. I don't know. I think it's just an upstairs of the Solarium. But look, know. beautiful sunset. The interior here is really nice. And, and then they started us off with some cheese biscuits. Doesn't this give like Red Lobster yes. vibes, but in like an better. elevated, classy way? Yeah. Not looks, that Red Lobster is not elevated and classy. Yeah, this looks really good. Now, I am a non seafood -itarian, and by <laughs> that I mean I do not eat seafood. But what's really nice is they have a turf and turf option, which is filet mignon and chicken. And I really like this um, fresh tossed salad option. It looks really yummy. And the dessert looks amazing. So this completely fills my needs. Okay, so we're gonna do our dinner time question, and my mom has another question. Um, so please go ahead and ask the question that you have tonight. Okay, so um, cruise attire has changed over the years and becoming more casual. What's your opinion on the dress code? Okay, do you want to go first or should I go first? Yeah, I'll go first. So tonight okay. is formal night and so I feel like it's a good time for us to be answering this question. I think in general the two of us like to dress down a little bit and I think the reason for that is because generally in my closet I like to have clothes with more like versatility that I can either dress up or dress down and like my workplace is pretty casual and so like I just prefer to not dress super high scale and so like I'm cool with people dressing a little bit more casually and so like if somebody comes into the main dining room with a t-shirt on and like shorts it doesn't bother me at all it bothers some people it definitely bothers some people but like for me i don't really care especially because i'm one of those people that prefers to dress like a level down what do you think i'm the same i i, I think it is getting more casual which i like i know some people don't but um i don't like dressing up so like tonight's formal night and i didn't i didn't want to pack like dress shoes my dress shoes take up so much space in my luggage. That's my main thing, really, yeah. is like, I just don't want to bring that. So. I enjoy looking nice, and I enjoy like fashion and going shopping and like that kind of but, thing, but I don't care what other people are wearing. But that's also one of the reasons why we don't go to the main dining room a lot, is that we don't have to dress up and we can get dinner at Playmakers or something, so yeah. What is this salad? It's just like the fresh salad. It has strawberries, onions, and something else on it. It's got a nice vinaigrette dressing. And I cheated the menu and I got a side of, what is it, mac and Lobster cheese? Lobster mac. mac and cheese. I cheated and got this as my starter instead of a side. How's your salad? It's very yummy. I like the this, vinaigrette. This is good too. By the way, we might see the green flash because the sun's setting. That's a myth. <laughs> But, um, okay, so as we've been talking, we've learned my mom doesn't like when people don't dress up in the main dining room. She says, go to the Windjammer. Which is kind of what Which, we that's do. That's kind of what we do. Yeah. But then we were talking about like the different theme nights, like 70s night, formal night, like white night, tropical night, whatever. Helps you figure out what to wear. Here's the problem is Royal doesn't tell you. That's what I was thinking. Royal sends you an email about like a week before your cruise saying like get ready for your cruise and stuff. Yeah. I think they need to tell you. The, Add it in there. The, the theme, the, the dress code nights. People would get much more into it. They should tell you on your cruise, night two is going to be formal night, night three is tropical night. I know, but it's hard to find on the app, but it should be in the email because that would help people pack. Hey, absolutely, and I think it's also a way to get people excited for their cruise. It's almost, it's like, 
get excited for white night, 70s night. Maybe even have photos of examples too. I would love that. I would, like new cruisers might not know about that. I honestly don't even know about it. I only heard about it because your mom told us about it. So yeah. that would be really helpful. The problem is I get blinded yep. by staring at it and then I can't see anything. Okay, the green flash is gonna happen. Or is it? Green flash in five, four, three, two. Five, four, three, two, one. I think I saw it. No. It looked green. Okay, so we got our main entrees. What did you get? This is the turf and turf. We have grilled chicken and filet mignon. Looks really good. I got the messy fish sandwich. That looks good too. Kind of looks like a kid's meal. <laughs> it kind of does. <laughs> but I think it's going to be good. Okay, so we got our dessert. This is a decadent brownie. And doesn't like, it look decadent? There's like, like extra brownies on top. custom made Hershey Kiss. Wow. It looks really cool. I got the same thing, obviously. What do you think this little extra bit of chocolate is? I don't know. And then one dot of caramel. Wait. Two dots of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we finished up our dinner. And we got our jackets because we're going to go see the ice skating show. Which, by the way, there's a full moon. Which has how you know there's gonna be crazy people out tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what I was gonna say is, didn't they say like the Titanic was like sank on a full moon? Oh really? I was thinking like look how look how bright it is. But like I'm like look how much light the full moon adds to the ocean here. It really does. Like yeah. I I've seen people say like it was pitch black when the Titanic sunk, but if it was a full moon, then I mean, that's kind of bright. Yeah, like it does actually light up a lot. The camera doesn't do it justice. It's, yeah, I can I can actually see the waves for like a good distance out there. But yeah, um, Hooked was good. My messy sandwich was not messy at all, but- I, um, I was a little bit underwhelmed. I think maybe I had a bunch of not seafood okay, yeah. items, the so I'm is, not sure I can say anything. Yeah, Carrie got, yeah, she's judging the seafood place on the meat, or the, the land. The, <laughs> the dead, turf and turf. The dead animals that came from the land instead of the sea yeah. that she ate. No, but um, the little white Hershey kiss thing on the brownie was the <laughs> best part. I really like the like, french fries. Oh yeah, we got, uh, Carrie got a side of the Cajun fries, which they're not on camera, I'm sorry, but they were probably the best thing. They were really good. <laughs> but the white Hershey kiss thing was like, it's like a crunchy, marshmallow you would get in cereal, like Lucky Charm. Yeah, it did taste like, like that. Your mom said it was meringue. Yeah, it was really good. But, but yeah, now we're heading to the ice skating show, which, what is it called, 1977? Yeah, so we're being teleported back to 1977. By the way, I just looked up um, the full moon thing about the Titanic. I had it, it was the opposite of that I was thinking. The Titanic went down on a moonless night, not a oh, full moon. Because I've heard that it was like pitch black. Yeah, so they didn't see anything. Wow. Why do we always think about the Titanic while we're on a cruise? It's well, not right. I think, you know, for obvious reasons. It is not right. <laughs> <laughs> That's something that like a novice cruiser would think about. Look at I feel boat. like I've heard that so many times. People are like, I don't want to cruise because I've seen Titanic too many times. See, that's what that's what cruise noobs say. We're we're way beyond that. Also, we're sailing in the Caribbean. It's fine if you say that in Alaska, but when I'm wearing my sneakers, I feel like I could like conquer the world. <laughs> So we thought we could smell popcorn. I did, and it was in the stairwell. Yeah, so near um, Studio B, which is the ice skating show, and the Royal Theater, they're both kind of near the same place. They're selling popcorn. I've never seen that, that's really cool. Should we get some? I've seen that, it smells really good. It's 2.50. Do we get some? I don't know. All right, I'm actually kind of full. I'm full from dinner, so I don't. Yeah. Wow, because we're in Sky Class, we get this special section right in the center. So here it is, 1977 and they're projecting waves onto the ice. That's the ice right there. They're making it look like waves, which is really cool. So we're in our exclusive uh, sweet, sweet sky. pinnacle or diamond plus only. Sky class section. Wearing a jacket. It's chilly willy in here. It's kind of a must to wear a jacket in here. It is cold. I literally put on sneakers. I never put on sneakers, but I did. Oh, you did that just for this? Yes, because oh, my wow. feet get so cold. But it is like, it feels, the air feels refreshing. It does kind of, yeah. <laughs> on your skin that's been feeling the sun all day. Yeah. We just got out of the ice skating show and now 
We're doing a back-to-back -back show. Now we're going right to the Aqua show called Hero, I think it's called. Pretty cool to be able to do that on a cruise ship. Back-to-back, yeah. -back, ice skating, and then Aqua show. Yeah. The ice skating show is cool because in the beginning they had drones come out. And they had like projections down onto the ice that were kind of cool. Yeah. It was really neat. And then, um, oh, something that was funny is they were playing Harry Potter soundtrack music. <laughs> they played the Goblet of Fire soundtrack. And just like the typical like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, it was kind of funny. It was weird. And I think they did James Bond too. You can see our room at the very top there. The with, with the lights, lights on. The one with the lights. That one's ours. Looks we pretty left, nice. We left our lights on. Pretty sweet. Here it is. Hero at the end of the boardwalk in the Aqua Theater. I see him. You know what's crazy is he's not on the bed. Well, maybe there's more. <laughs> I like that he used the sunglasses. It's funny that he's not on the bed because I guess because the bed's up here. Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing more. But there's just Taylor. Tay Tay. Taylor's in her what bed. What is this? Is she like holding a lighter? It's a lighter. What does she smoke? Come on, Taylor. But no, I guess we had to check the bed. But of course. He just didn't put it up there because it's on the second floor. It's too much work to come up here. I guess uh, we'll see you tomorrow in Costa Maya. Is it Costa Maya or Costa Maya? I feel like I've heard it both ways. I have too. I don't know. Almost to Costa Maya. It's funny, like we're, pos we're passing Cozumel and then like on the way back, you know, after Costa Maya we're going to Cozumel. But you know what I just thought? On the cruise compass, maybe they should say the pronunciation of the port you're going to. That would have been especially helpful in Norway. Yeah, that would be cool. Like, what do you call that when you, it's like phonetic spelling? Yeah. But yeah, we got our um, our cruise compass. On oh, paper. that's so exciting. Love to get it on paper. Here's, you have to tell your stateroom attendant you want it on paper and then they'll like write down your room number and then they'll, so that they remember to like give you the paper one. Otherwise, at, we're at the point now where you're probably not gonna get the paper or compass unless you tell your stateroom attendant. You even go to guest services and they'll deny you. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, see you tomorrow where we're gonna do a Segway and we've never been on a Segway before. I'm gonna fall. Coming up in our next video, we dock in Costa Maya where we take a Segway adventure. Don't worry, everyone survived. <laughs>